but we start with the starts right here trial as experts and witnesses continue to share testimonies. Local 5's Dennis Searles was in the courtroom today and breaks it all down for us. It's day four in the trial against Preston Walls and today we heard from more of the prosecution's witnesses. The morning began with testimonies from more crime scene investigators. One testimony came from a criminalist who examined the gun Walls allegedly used alongside matching bullets from the crime scene to that gun. However, in the cross examination, the bullet found inside Gianni Dameron's chest sparked some questions from the defense. So is it um, fair to say that that gun that excuse me, that particular bullet in Mr. Dameron's chest came from another source other than the gun that you examined on this day? Yes. Then a ruling on the request for a mistrial was made by the judge in the afternoon. This request came after one witness made a comment referring to the defendant as the quote bad guy and then smirking at the jury. While that was struck from the record, the defense still argued for a mistrial. All we've, we've been seeking and we've been getting it throughout this entire process is a fair shot at, a, at this trial. The, the comment that he made wasn't elicited by the state. They didn't ask that question. He just threw it in there. The judge did, however, say he would consider a request to have the jury disregard that comment. Then throughout the afternoon, we heard from various crime scene detectives. One detective was sent to search the car used to drive walls away from the scene. Other detectives spoke on unrelated incidents, some of those consisting of a shooting they responded to, as well as arrests made at a park for carrying weapons. However, one detective we heard from looked at all the surveillance video from the day of the shooting. I also took special note of the back and forth between Mr. Carr and Mr. Dameron. Several rounds would be fired. He would stop. He'd go back and fire more rounds at Mr. Dameron. And then at one point, it appeared he was closing his eye as he aimed as he shot at Mr. Carr. The court will reconvene again tomorrow at 9 a.m. and Local 5 will be there continuing our coverage. At the Polk County Courthouse, Dana Searles, Local 5 News. And Brave on Tukes, who allegedly drove the getaway car for Walls, is also being charged with first degree murder. He is set to go on trial next month. A judge agreed to separate the trials so Walls can testify in Tukes' defense.